Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Zonopation channel. In the last session, we have seen how we can clone a project from Git remote to the PyCharm IDE. And this is a project. After we clone the project, we have to again create some uh, data and we have to create a branch and then we have to push. So in this session, we will see how we can create a branch and push the changes to the Git remote using the IDE. So let's get started. So if I go to this commits tab here, the changes related there is no such changes at present i have made in my project which after cloning so for that i will go to this readme.md file and there i will create a new new branch update so this is the change that i have created let's quickly save and if i go to this commits again i will see one file changes here which is a readme.md file so now i wanted to see how many branches are there at present so in which branch I am so for that you have to go to this git after that you have to go to this branches so at present I I have only one branch called master branch which is the recent branch and if I go to this there is anything in my local there is nothing in my local and are there any more branches in the git remote there are branch one and branch two are in the git remote so I will ignore those and I will create a local branch so if I go here and uh, create a branch for that I will say uh, new test one so new test one is my new branch and I have to click this checkout branch checkbox so that as soon as I create a branch it will check out all the changes from the master it will preserve that in my branch and where my new changes will be updated in that branch okay I will create now a new branch is created to check the branches created or not you have to go to this git again and go to the branches now you can see there is a new branch one is there so let's say this is a test commit uh, see in the git bash where we will do a git commit message so instead of that comment this will help us to do that same and uh, you can do a commit and push so it is saying that files select a file to commit so this is a readme.md file I wanted to commit to my git remote so I will do a commit and push so while doing this it will prompt me a new pop-up saying that okay this is the changes that I wanted to push then uh, you can see this push has drawn drop down so it's a force push or push I will say click push and you will see a status bar scrolling here you can click that so right now my changes are being committed to the git remote so now I go to this git remote and I just refresh okay after refresh you can see the new test file changes are being pushed into my git remote I can do a compare and pull request so I will do a compare pull request so I will accept this changes so these are the changes and uh, this is the ID for that uh, uh, title for that my pull request I will create the pull request okay this is the basic thing so we have to provide the description of that PR also but uh, right now I'm just doing the a new branch creation and committing the changes to the get remote through the PyCharm ID right now all the changes are been committed I will click merge the pull request and confirm merge so this is done now I have to go back to my PyCharm now I wanted to again switch back to my master I will click on get and again go to the branches then this is my master branch so what I will do I will just simply check out so as soon as I check out you may see this new changes are been removed from my readme.md file but how can I get those changes so for that you have to again go to this git and you have to pull so you have to pull from the master again I will click on pull master now you should see the the recent changes that we pushed to the master branch that will be fetched back to your local so this is how you do a code commit from the get id uh, i mean pycharm id to the get remote and you get back those changes from the master branch hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions queries you can comment in my comment box i will help you out thank you for watching